Welcome back. This is Madan. In the previous demo, we added one to many relationship between our models, pets, and the application user and their corresponding database tables. Uh, in this demo, we are going to fetch the related data from our database and display that in the view. Uh, what we are doing is that uh, we are going to add a new uh, link here called my pairs and the, that link can only be seen by the logged in user and when the user click on clicks on that my pairs link then they will get only their pairs uh, they will get to see all of their pairs created by them and uh, uh, edit or delete them so let's head over to our project and for the first step we are going to add a new link here called my pairs since this view is rendered by login partial so let's head over to our login partial page which is inside the shared and login partial and we can create a new link here let's uh, define a new link here li and uh, inside it is to a asp as action equal to my pairs we are going to define this action uh, in our controller which we haven't defined it and asp controller equal to pet controller and let's give it a name of my pairs my pairs let's save this and head over to the browser let's try and refresh this so when the user is logged in we can see the my pairs link but let's log out the user and when the user is logged out then we cannot see the my pairs link so that link can be only used by the logged in user to view and manage their pairs so let's log in again test at the red gmail.com and here we can see the my pairs link now when the user click on my pairs link this link is uh, pointing to the my pairs action in the paid controller which we haven't defined yet so let's head over to the paid controller and define the another action let's say public i action result my pairs and we are going to return a view for now of course we haven't got uh, uh, created we haven't created the my pairs view at the moment so let's create a view called my pairs inside the pet folder in the uh, views so inside the pet let's create a new view called my pairs.cssdml and let's just simply give it a s2 and let's say my pairs let's save it let's head over to the project refresh this and when the user clicks on my pairs then they will get my pairs and of course we don't see this link when the user is logged out so let's log out and we don't see my pairs but when the user try to navigate to the my pairs from the url my pairs my pairs then they will be successfully able to uh, go back to the my pairs so this my pet is a uh, view is not for the uh, user which are not logged in so let's authorize this action so that this can be only accessed by the authorized users or the users that are logged in so to do that we just need to add an attribute called authorize authorize just like that let's save it and let's head over to the browser right at the moment the user is not user has not been logged has not been logged in so if i try to refresh then Because the server is restarting up if I try and refresh then I should be redirected to the logged in page so by adding the authorized attribute the unauthorized user uh, cannot access to the uh, authorized pages so let's log in with the test at gmail.com now we can see the menu and we can successfully go back to our my pairs page now we have to go to the we have to define some methods to get the data based on that user and display that in the view so let's head over to our repository 
interface and let's define the method which is going to get the list of pets get pet by user id and we will be passing the user id as a parameter let's save this and let's head over to our pet repository and implement the interface so now we have got another method and we need to implement this and in this method we have got the user id so we are going to get the all the pairs from the pet database table um, based on this user id so we return context dot pairs dot where let's say u goes where uh, p goes to p dot user id dot equals the first user id as a method parameter and we need to execute this query by doing to list so this method will return all the pairs uh, filtered by the user id so let's head over to the controller and we need to call this method from our controller so here we are in our my pair section now we are going to call the method that we just created in our repository so in the view and we are going to return the uh, pairs based on the user id to the view so let's define a variable variable pairs equal to underscore pet repository dot get paid by user id and we pass here user id and we are finally returning that to our view of course we haven't got the user id right at the moment but we can get user id easily by using user manager which gives the id of the currently logged in user so let's define the another variable called user id equal to let's use user manager dot get user id and we need to pass this uh, http context dot user which is provided by the identity framework and with this our method controller method will return the list of pairs to the my pairs view so let's head over to the my pairs view and now the my pairs action return the list of the pairs so the model for this view will be list of pet now we are going to display all the pairs that is passed by our controller method to this view and the code for this view is almost similar to our index method which got the model pet and displays the pets from in the table so we can copy this code copy the table code from here copy and let's paste it here just like that and now if we run our project at this point of time then we should be able to see pairs based on the user id or we will get the pet of the logged in user or our logged in user will be able to see their pairs so let's refresh our project so right at the moment the logged in user is test at the red gmail.com so when we navigate to my pairs then we will see the pet of the test at the red gmail.com so let's try and add another pet here say new and let's do rabbit page black let's save it and uh, we have got three pairs in total and when we when the user navigates log in and click on the uh, my pairs link then they will get only of their pairs cat and rabbit so let's log out and logged in as another user log in as another user which is test1 at the red gmail.com and if we go to the go and click the link then we will see the pet of the test1 at the red gmail.com which is dog so this is the end of this demo and uh, in the another video we will continue improving our mbc demo project Thanks for watching. Have a good day.